What's up? Good morning. This is John Kersbergen here. And I know you're probably not used to watching too many videos of me popping up on Facebook and giving a whole lot of messages, but uh, I've been challenged by uh, a business coach to uh, put something out there that, um, that I don't really want to put out there. That's you know challenging, something that I overcame, um, a dark time in my life that I haven't really talked about a whole lot, but uh, in order to overcome that, I need to put it out there. And uh, I'll just give you a little background on it right now. But uh, I'm living in Vermont right now. I've been here for about a year and a half. I, uh, I'm working in RV sales, but I passionately work in uh, personal training, group fitness type stuff, nutrition. And I'm uh, working with a business coach in that area right now. And he challenged me to put this out there and to go back to a time that um, you know I didn't really want to go back to, something that I kind of just moved on from and just kind of put away. But uh, I'll go there right now with you guys, and just uh, if it helps one person out, it's, it's worth putting out there. So bear with me here. I'm gonna try to do it in one take. But uh, I just go back to a time when I was uh, just finishing up playing playing football in college. I was a senior, and uh, I had torn my labrum in my shoulder and finished the season out. And I discovered I needed to have surgery done. And uh, at the end of the season, and at that same time, I was in the relationship like a college style relationship where probably things move a little too fast and um, a lot of emotions and physical things were involved where probably shouldn't have been at that point but they were and I uh, just got to be totally honest about what went on in my mind and everything during that time and um, how it affected me and uh, how I'm planning on moving on from it but um, so after I had the shoulder surgery over Christmas break of my senior year, about five years ago, I uh, got a heavy prescription of painkillers, and I, uh, you know, needed those to numb the pain as I first got out of surgery. But kind of as I got on, I started to feel like I didn't need them as much, but I would enjoy the feeling of them because they would just numb any pain I had, and felt like I needed it, and. Uh, at the same time, I was coming back to college after Christmas break, and I was speaking with the girl I was, in, I was talking with at the time, and been hanging a lot, of, spending a lot of time with at the time, and we were planning on getting, you know, coming back and you know, getting back together and having a great last semester, um, get back to school, and all of a sudden she just doesn't want to talk to me anymore at all, and I had no idea why, um, and I'm sitting here totally, uh, I feel like by myself, honestly. When you get done playing the college sport, you. Uh, you kind of realize a lot of your social systems are wrapped up around that team and the parties and all that, those things. And uh, I didn't really have that going anymore. I felt like, you know, I didn't want to go to all those parties as much and wasn't really part of that team. And uh, this girl that I had taken a strong liking to uh, didn't want to communicate with me anymore. And I totally felt alone in this world and didn't know what to do. And I was kind of basing my self worth on. Uh, on all of that and felt pretty low and uh, I was at a point where um, I found that if I mixed some of the pain pills with alcohol I felt pretty good and I would do that and it got to the point where I was so down and low my brain chemistry was so screwed up that it's like man if this she doesn't want to talk to me nobody here really cares about me anymore I'm just gonna finish off these pills and see what happens and uh, I'm sitting there in my bed just thinking about it and <laughs> It was, uh, I was, I mean, I know how close I was to taking those pills, and I ended up not doing it. What's holding me back was just thoughts of just my mom, honestly. Um, with what would have happened if it, if it didn't, I mean, it, no result from that thing was going to be good. And, but I was so low and so lonely that I just didn't know what else to do and couldn't see over that problem. And, uh, and one of the reasons that I've gotten involved in this industry, you know, fitness and personal training, nutrition, mindset, is just that uh, I realized, I mean, coming out of that was like, I got with one of my friends, James Buell, shout out to James if you're watching this, um, started working out together, building some, I got my rehab going and everything and started working out together and I just started getting stronger and stronger and I realized this power has always been inside me to overcome these things. And just the mindset and the fitness is just that first step, getting into it. And once you realize you can overcome those things that um, 
you can really do anything set your mind to, and that's the truth. But uh, I just think back now, five years ago, with the hindsight, looking back at it, if I would have popped those pills, who knows what would have happened? Who knows? I mean, it's crazy to think about. I uh, I haven't really told anybody about this ever. So maybe I maybe told a couple of people when I was drunk one time in college, like right afterwards. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it feels really good to get that out there right now. And uh, if this helps one person, um, that's great. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.